I'm Katie Kreins, and what I love most is to do what the locals do. Shop where they shop, eat where they eat, and especially have fun. My adventure starts here in Pasadena, California. I'll show you not only Pasadena's hotspots, but also some great places only the locals know about. And I'm here to bring those treasures to you. Welcome to Locals Only, Pasadena. Pasadena has always struck me as a city away from the city. It's got a small town feel with a big city vibe. And only in Pasadena can you find places like the Majestical Roof. Now it's a little hard to find just off Fair Oaks between Union and Holly, but all you need to look for is that little entryway that looks just like a train tunnel. Follow me. As you walk through the tunnel, you're quickly transported to a quaint courtyard. The walkway and the walls are all hand-painted by local artists. The art isn't just inside the store, but all around it. The energy here is bursting with creativity and I haven't even walked in the store yet. About five years ago, Majestical Roof opened to help support the local artist community. Everything they sell is handmade. Nothing is mass manufactured. So I'm here with Christina, who's one of the owners of Majestical Roof and also a local artist who supports herself here. Um, now Christina, there is so much beautiful artwork here. It's just super creative. You guys, I think you, you absorb the, all the creative people <laughs> in and around Pasadena to make these things. We have a lot of artists that started with us in the beginning for about five years and um, that are still with us today. And then we have new people that are always coming in as well. Clothing can be art too. They have clothes here for the guys and the gals. The t-shirts are made for anyone and they have a ton of fun design. This is all organic cotton. This. this is all, or oh, this is soft. Soft cotton, all organic. I like that one. It says peace out on the back. So you don't even need to say it when you leave. You can just turn. Get the idea. <laughs> Something a lot of people like is jewelry, especially when it comes to pieces you can't find anywhere else. And the jewelry here is amazing. So this is one of my absolute favorite things in the Jumpsicle Room. It's so cute and unique, and it's definitely something that I would wear all the time. You slip on. Bam! Perfect little outfit. And this is the thing that'll sass up any kind of outfit you have. Something that's plain, put it on, and you got it going on, right? Right. As you can see, Majestical Roof is full of neat handmade items. What's really great about this store is that they truly support the local community. Each item is handmade by a local artist. I just can't say that enough. They've got clothes, jewelry, shoes, something for any person in all occasions. After you browse this side of the store, don't forget to venture to the other side of Majestical Roof. We're standing in the art gallery portion of Majestical Roof. Now this is such an interesting part of the store because everything in it looks like it was picked off from different parts of the world. The art gallery is a must-see, and it's better than a museum because you can actually purchase what you see and take it home with you. Of course, all the art here is made by a local artist in the community. Speaking of local artists, Helena Rose stopped by today. Her paintings are vibrant, bold, and absolutely beautiful. I'm such a fan of your artwork right now. These are simply marvelous. I love them. I really do. Thank I you. love them. I love the color, the design, everything. It's, it's great. Thank I you. love it. All the artists they have in here are fabulous. You won't find it any other place, a place like this that I know of anyway. On the last Saturday of every month, Majestical Roof's alternative art market is quite the theme. Artists, designers, and even musicians come down to show off what they're made of. It's a, a chance for you to meet the artist, to purchase directly from them, mm -hmm. and ask them about how they uh, created their art or their piece of jewelry or whatever it is that you're purchasing that day. I'm here with Rachel from Hearts of Stone, who's going to tell me a little bit about one of her favorite pieces of jewelry. I call this one Bohemian Love. Bohemian Love, I yeah. love it. The line is Hearts of Stone, so I kind of base the names on love or heart. And it's, it's a casual line, but it can dress up or dress down, and it's mostly just, you know, the heart-shaped stones, and also there's some crystals in there that just give you a little bit of a sparkle. This is Brandoir's first visit to the art market. Now, he's going to tell us a little bit about one of his special paintings. Well, first of all, it's all abstract, so you can see whatever you want to see, because I don't like to tell people what to see in my art. Lauren's got some of the most unique light fixtures you're ever going to see. Plastic has changed so much from, you know, the mid-century 60s when it was this new material and everyone was like, plastic's going to save the world. To today, plastic is like this really toxic thing that fills our landfills. So I kind of wanted to upcycle and breathe some life back into plastic. 
I'm here with Laura, who's going to show us a little bit about her masks and stuff. I do costumes for the entertainment industry. There's a lot of waste. <laughs> so this is a little bit of Thor. These are actually parts of some suede shirt. This is a little starlet. Ooh, that's all. I love it. Thanks. I want more of it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> well, if you would like, Dream of My Machine. Dream of My Machine. That's it. This is Laura. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really loved it. Dun, dun. Go oh, out sorry. and fight crime. I know. All. I'm with Liz from Frozen in Time, and Liz is going to tell us a little bit about this beautiful necklace that she has here for sale. It's light, and it's also waterproof, and the back is a newspaper that's been laminated. Oh, no way! Yeah. That's really cool. It's very unique and something you're not going to find anywhere because it's done solely by Liz. It's very creative. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dress up all your bare walls with the artwork from Tomiko Fedor. Where do you pull these ideas from? Because it's so creative, it's just chock full of things that I would never be able to come up with. I noticed that there's like something in common between animals and objects and then I kind of just morph them together, draw my sketchbook and then I come up with like a flow to like put them all into. Definitely a conversation piece. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is Banana Mustache by Tomiko Sador. Check it out, right down here at the art market. You can carry around all your purchases from the art market in this wonderful bag from Helena Rose. Now this is truly a beautiful bag. So. We even have little pockets here, yeah. so you can put your cell phone cell in phone, there. Exactly. You can put your uh, <laughs> little black book. Hand free, that's what that's I like. Hand free, I like that. I like I'd that. Like to be hand free. <laughs> wonderful bag by Helena Rose. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lumina sells some of the most original t-shirts around. Now, how do, you, how do you make this? So I started using uh, t-shirts as my canvas, and I did this watercolor effect on t-shirts. So basically, these are one of a kind. I don't do repeat designs or colors, or, sure. uh, or sometimes the style is different if the color variation, uh, meaning the color the scheme color is repeated. Yes, colors. but the idea is to capture that watercolor effect with, wow. with the fabric paints and brush. I love it. Come down and check out Lubna's fresh t-shirts. Tanya from White Crow Designs makes great looking necklaces. It started off as a painting okay. and I thought it would be absolutely great to have it as a necklace. Each one of my paintings you can actually see also as necklaces. Oh wow, so there's a necklace for every single painting you have. Yeah. That's really amazing. Here. I love it. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> what a day at the Majestical Roof. Christina and I got to explore the alternative art market and saw some pretty cool stuff. Majestical Roof carries amazing things, and inside the store you'll always find something cutting edge. Clothes, jewelry, art, and more. So come on down and take a peek, because you never know what you're going to find, but I guarantee it'll be unique. Stay tuned. I'll be heading out to Rose City Ballroom to get spun around on the dance floor. And later, I'm going to try the best black steam muscles in town at Quadruple Brasserie.